Hi guys, this is the Pro Engineer speaking, and today I'll be giving a demonstration on how you can implement rotations using quaternions. This video only shows the end product of the project, so if you want more information or want the source code, please visit the Pro Engineer's website at the link given in the description below. Alright, I went about this project incrementally, and I started off by creating a visualization tool with Python using Pygame. This is how the implementation looks like. In this program, I give a constant angular velocity in all three axes. And the program gives the yaw, pitch, roll angles together with a 3D visualization of the rotation. Next, instead of using a virtual constant angular velocity input, I use the angular velocity from a real MEMS gyrometer. So what I have here is the MEMS gyrometer and this is the Arduino which is reading the values from the sensor and passing it to the computer. Now let me run the program. As you can see here, the object in the screen is mimicking the rotation of the actual gyrometer. However, I think you have realized by now that if I put it back to its original place, the object in the screen is not at its correct orientation. In fact, if you take a closer look, Even though I've left the sensor untouched, the object in the screen is still drifting. For example, the pitch angle is steadily decreasing. So this is because of the random noise from the gyrometer which causes a drift in the measured angular position over time. In order to solve this, I implemented an extended Kalman filter implementation which uses the magnetometer and the accelerometer to give a definite reference so as to remove the drift from the gyrometer. Now this is the extended Kalman filter implementation. You can see that it's behaving almost the same, but regardless of how I turn the sensor, the object in the screen returns back to the correct orientation when I place the sensor back to its original position. If you take a closer look at it, you'll see that the yaw pitch roll angles does not drift. Alright, that's all for me from for now. So do check out my blog from the description below for more information.